Sponsored by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. TrueTechTools.com. What's up, YouTube? We're going to talk about the Testo 770 3 here in a minute, but I wanted to give you an overview of the wide variable selection that TrueTechTools.com carries in Testo electrical meters. You've got your basic Testo 745 non-contact voltage tester with an integrated flashlight and then you've got three levels of the 750-1 which we'll be doing a bit of a review on here after I get a chance to play with it a little bit. It's 750-2, 750-3, basically three different levels at three different price points of that particular voltage tester. Then you've got your 755, 1 and 2, basically more of an electric, electrician's meter than an HVAC meter, does your basic amps, volts, continuity, and the 755-2 gives you phase rotation as an option as well. Then we move on to the 760, 1, 2 and 3, and the 760 is a general multimeter with auto ranging and capacitance. And then you've got uh, the 760-2, which gives you your auto ranging capacitance, true RMS, and low pass. And then the 760-3, which adds a um, thousand volt capacity there. The top end of the Testo electrical meters is the 770. You got three different levels of that as well. Your dash one, dash two, and dash three. Your basic meter gives you general HVAC type options with true RMS and inrush. Inrush makes it quite a powerful meter. Your dash two gives you the option of temperature, and then your dash three gives you watts and power factor and a Bluetooth option. You got a magnet, cases for all the meters, accessory uh, clamp meter adapter for the 760, and a thermocouple uh, adapter to be able to use a K-type uh, temperature lead with the, uh, I believe it's the 760 meter. Got your fuses and whatnot, and then on page two, you've got several different uh, alligator clamps. You've got uh, alligator clips that are designed for a more safety operation there. And then you've got standard alligator clamps as well. And then you've got all sorts of leads and attachments and extensions to be able to swap out the leads on your meter if you needed to. Moving on to talking about the 770-3 the amp clamp feature has actually been a really um, nice way to be able to get into a tight space by allowing the clamp meter to come down rather than open up sideways you're actually able to go in grab a wire with the hook pull on it a little bit if you needed to and then just plunge the connector back in to the device makes it really nice quick and easy to be able to grab a wire on the on whatever unit you're working on the leads that come with the meter do not have detachable tips um, rather than buying another set of leads I just stole the leads that I'd had for my uh, old fluke 116 and those allow you to pop the tips off and use the safety clamps, alligator clamps. They're actually called crocodile clamps on some of the literature for Testo. There's a nice little feature right there on the tip of the clamp that allows you to grab a wire at the tip without having any exposed wire. That little gap right there at the tip makes it really nice. And then on the inside you've got a little V-cut and then that side's got a flat section that allows you to grab a hold of uh, whatever wire 
or you can stick wires through the alligator clamps on the sides. Um, you can get meter leads that have the detachable tips on that uh, True Tech Tools website to give you that capability, but the leads that come with it do not have the detachable um, tips. On the bottom of the meter is where you plug in your leads and they're standard uh, plug-in type leads and allow you to plug in whatever lead you'd like. The battery back is actually like the rest of the meters. It's actually got a piece of plastic that indents into the unit to give you a pretty high level of moisture resistance as well as dust resistance. But it is kind of a pain in the butt to pull the screws and then remove the back. Just a little bit aggravating. My fat fingers with no fingernails, it was kind of a pain to pull it off when I put the batteries in originally. Um, your Bluetooth feature is down here with the light feature. Basically you hold down that button and roll the meter to on and it initiates the Bluetooth signal. Your hold button is on the side, allows you to just easily grab it and hold whatever reading you're taking. If you wanted to take inrush, it's right there in the center. And then you've got your min max average selection there. What I have noticed in the time that I've used the device is that if you are looking for voltage and you select voltage with the selection wheel and you're not reading AC voltage very quickly, it'll drop down and automatically select DC voltage. And no, the screen's not dirty or screwed up. It just looks that way on camera. Um, the backlight's nice. It's not terribly bright. It works pretty well. If you roll it all the way up to the W and you collect, connect the leads to amps and voltage, it will automatically calculate power factor as well as watts. All of these things can be seen with the Testo Smart Probes app in the basic view. It would be really nice if Testo would take a little advice and actually incorporate all of the readings into a dedicated section of the app so that you could select it without being in the basic view and actually give you some additional features, uh, calculating capacitors under load, stuff like that. The watts feature would enable that sort of thing pretty pretty easily it seems. It does not come with an adapter to be able to read temperature. You might be able to use the adapter that you see with other fluke meters that allows you to plug in to the bottom and adapt to a K-type thermocouple. Actually, let me see. I've got one of the IDVM um, K-type temperature adapters. <clears throat> Go ahead and plug that in and see what uh, what we've got there and it doesn't seem to work. Plugging it in to positive and negative on the bottom of the meter does not enable any temperature reading. So it looks like you'd have to get a Testo specific. I don't have one that'll allow me to plug into a fluke meter, but I don't know if you can see, it actually shows Celsius and Fahrenheit at the same time. On the bottom of the screen you see Celsius and at the top of the screen you would see Fahrenheit. So it's nice to see that feature enabled as uh, you know being able to easily see both types of temperature reading for those guys over in the UK where uh, or Canada where they use Celsius primarily. The wheel has got a nice solid motion to it. It definitely goes to the selection point and doesn't feel sloppy as you select the different types of measurements. All in all, it's a solid meter. I think it would work well as a HVAC meter across any technician, and it would give you that inrush capability that is so integral for checking a system on startup. You'd be able to see it or record your differences between 
um, having a start capacitor and not having a start capacitor. I think the strongest feature is definitely on the 770-3, the strongest feature is the fact that it'll do power factor in watts. At this point, I'm just shooting this one as an overview of the device. As I use the meter more, we'll uh, give you some of the usage video showing you the power factor and watts calculation um, and some of the other features. I don't know if I'm going to order the connector to do temperature on my meter. Uh, just seems kind of unnecessary to me with all the other tools that I have that will read temperature. I do have the 755-3. I'm sorry. It's actually the 750-3. I don't think that this is really geared towards um, HVAC in any way. It just does volts. It doesn't do amps. Um, but we'll go ahead and unbox it while we're here and uh, give you a little bit of a preview on that device. So the, wow, that's kind of interesting. The meter is actually a two-piece meter. And um, it locks together with a couple of grooves on the side there and then some slots on that side. So it's connected by a cable and I'm, I haven't read the book, I just opened the box. But um, it's got some attachments connected to the table or cable here. Um, not 100% sure what those are for since I haven't read the book yet. But um, maybe it's just cable storage and different tips for um, connecting different leads or whatever but it looks like it'll fit the two tips there um, but anyway we'll get into this one more as uh, I get a chance to play with it so hopefully you liked the video about the 770-3 and the little preview of the 750-3 like subscribe comment and share and um, we'll see you on the next video peace Forget, you can use coupon code RARVID and get $10 off your purchase at TrueTechTools.com or the coupon code RARIDVM for $10 off your IDVM 510 meter. Thanks to the 100 Watt Vipers for allowing me to use their music also. You can search for my Facebook group at HVAC with Stephen Reardon or follow me on Twitter at Juvenile77. Thanks for watching.